What a time to be alive. Yeah, the coronavirus crisis is affecting us uh, like everyone else. We're on lockdown here in Copenhagen, our new home. You're probably on lockdown wherever you are and uh, just like us, probably not able to go out to eat like normal. Restaurants are closed and it's really a big uh, catastrophe for them because they're not able to pay uh, their employees. They still have to pay rent and even with government help it might not be enough to keep these restaurants around. I think they're potentially one of the hardest hit by this crisis. We're seeing so many restaurants now being really creative, doing new stuff, doing takeaway, even like fine dining restaurants. Some have transformed their restaurant into a grocery store. We're going to show you a couple of our favorite spots in Copenhagen who are doing really creative stuff. And uh, if you're here in Copenhagen, go out and support these local restaurants. And no matter where you are in the world, go out and support your local restaurants because otherwise they might not be around when this is over. Yeah, if you, if you want your favorites to survive, find a way to support them, whether it's buying their takeaway, buying gift cards, or straight up donating money to them. El Buco is one of our favorite neighborhood restaurants and so we're going to meet with Christopher today to see what he's doing during this crisis and see if we can find some dinner tonight in the grocery store. I'm uh, Christopher. I'm the uh, owner of uh, Il Buco and La Banquina. We saw a, a, a rapid uh, uh, decrease in the number of uh, guests uh, coming to, to, to eat here. The evenings dropped really fast and we got cancellations both here and uh, at La Banquina. And then suddenly the government came and said, uh, you gotta close down your, your business. I already had this uh, bakery uh, and experience with uh, selling grocery items. Uh, we did takeaway in the old days, um, so it was very obvious just to, to leave out the, the dine-in option for people and start to do deliveries and, and takeaway. Then I had the kitchen make some we have this uh, carbonara kit, which is basically a, an egg and cheese based sauce in a jar. You have some uh, guanciale and you have a, a bag of dried pasta. Serves two people and then you have a little bit of pasta left. We were well stocked, too well stocked with the uh, wines, which was actually a problem. So now we had a nice opportunity to get rid of this uh, stock of uh, wines. People are really happy to buy wines these days for some reason. <laughs> I think the, the, the best way to help a business like mine is, is here and now. Number one for me would be if people came down here and bought wine, takeaway food, uh, toilet paper, whatever we have in here and out there, and then came back to eat on a in a normal way as soon as we're allowed to open up our doors for, for dining guests again. By supporting uh, us as a grocery store, I, I believe that you also, of course you support us, uh, which I'm very grateful for, but you also support uh, small farmers in Denmark, you support small producers of natural wines in Italy, uh, you support uh, a weird guy who makes uh, very high quality of almonds on uh, Sardinia and you keep the, the guys in here and me uh, like uh, alive. We're here at Restaurant Brace to meet with Chef Nicola Finetti. He's turned his fine dining restaurant into a takeout only concept right now. That's quite a change. I'm uh, Nicola Fanetti and I'm running a Restaurant Brace in Copenhagen. I opened a Restaurant Brace in 2017 with my wife uh, Ursula. 
We are focusing on a modern Italian cuisine using only local uh, products uh, from organic far uh, farmers. So we started to notice the effect of the coronavirus in the start of uh, March when uh, mainly other countries around Europe was closing down their borders and everything. So we start to have less tourists and also less uh, local uh, uh, guests. Uh, reservation the bookings was really slow, slow down and also we got a lot of cancellations. Since in Italy the coronavirus uh, came uh, much more before than Denmark, in, than in Copenhagen, we uh, saw like uh, other Michelin star restaurant uh, changing their concept from a fine dining to a takeaway, like uh, such as uh, Alaimo or uh, Ceria uh, da Vittorio in uh, three Michelin star. So we decided to take all of their example and to change our restaurant, our concept in a takeaway for, uh, for a period that temporary period that there is the coronavirus. So we are offering uh, starters, pasta, main course and dessert, but uh, more comfort, uh, more it uh, comfort it uh, Italian food, more simple, not like uh, sophisticated, sophisticated like we do in Brace. Bon appetito. That's comfort food right there. Mm. For example, we are doing uh, our carbonara, that is uh, using uh, mainly local products. We do also pasta with uh, like conchiglie, with uh, leek cream or, uh, and uh, fjord shrimps that are in season now. We do a carpaccio of uh, local beef with uh, uh, fresh seasonal ingredients like a salad and carrot. We do uh, Guinea fall with a uh, uh, la diavola style, it's a typical Italian dish. And as a dessert, we do, for example, a panna cotta uh, infused with, uh, in barley, covered with uh, uh, ginger caramel and a burnet chocolate. If you want an Italian feast at home, this is what you're looking for. Mm. It's so good. I think that uh, the way that our guests can help us is uh, first to not cancel their bookings, but just to postpone the booking. Second, to order our takeaway that is available almost every day of the week. I think that when we reopen again, there will be a period where we will not have tourists in town because also we need to see when the other countries are opening their borders and permit people to travel. It's uh, really important actually that Danes and local guests that, uh, are come, going out to support not only my restaurant but all the restaurants in, uh, in Copenhagen and uh, permit them to survive and to pass these hard times.